look, guys, I'm so damn sick. And this is legitimate. I know I'm usually like Camelot 3 through one here. <laughs> oh, my God. But today, guys, this has happened so many times this year. And the funny thing is, it happens when companies are having record profit. It's not when they're struggling. It's because they want to squeeze just a little bit more out of their people. Best Buy is doing something announced today. And no one's talking about it because for some reason, everyone likes companies now. In the last three months, everybody's like, we love corporate companies now. What? No. Best Buy done pulled a damn Palpatine on everybody and executed Order 66 on everybody's faces with their damn sacks. Right with their unwashed sacks and destroyed everything. Best Buy's done something literally unheard of. Quite literally. Okay? Holy mother of God. We're going to talk about it right now. We got people that have messaged me. We're going to look at the Reddit. The damn CEO. Every damn body's getting touched on today just a little bit. So make sure you share this video so people can understand. Do your part. Let's make the damn difference. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Like the video with a damn up doodle. And subscribe if you have not. Let's get into it. Fast. So check this out right here. This kind of gives us a little taste. A little, tiny little taste of just the tip, baby. Just the tip. So this says, I've been struggling today with what to say. While I'm not in my store, various calls, texts, and Reddit posts have had me at a loss. When I started here six years ago, I always knew this stuff happened, but I never actually saw it occur. So, from me to anyone affected today, I say three things. You are bigger than this job. This is not your end-all, be-all. It is perfectly okay to not be okay. There are resources available. Utilize them if you need to. I have before and there is no shame. It will get better. I cannot agree with all this more. All right. This is all very true stuff. This will all get better. If you lost your job, if you kept your job, if you took a position cut, everything happens for a bigger reason. I personally value every single one of you. As someone who has worked from a seasonal to a supervisor, I know the struggle and I support you and I feel for you. If anyone needs to talk, my messages are open. Unbelievable. Look at this guy right here. I wasn't prepared to cry right now. And it gets me emotional, man. Like I was reading this earlier and I'm just like, Jesus, man, it just hurts my, my tears. Got redneck ass tears coming out of my face. Redneck tears look like tiny little trailers, like a trailer park just coming out of your face or maybe some giant tires on your truck, something to that nature. But what's going on? Why did this guy say this from one leader to all who is all affected, affected by what guys affected by what? Check this out. Today I was let go. Been with Best Buy over seven years. 25% of my life has been dedicated to this place. Story of my life. Started in 2014. Even my GM choked up saying that this is one of the hardest goodbyes he'll ever have to do. I lost it. I'm taking this harder than I thought I should. No real goodbyes. No hugs. You just walk out. The employee watches you grab your stuff and go. The next two days will be extremely hard hard on us. And look at this. Look at this. This is very important, guys. It says, wait, people were actually told this is their last day. No two weeks or anything. Why is it that us as people have to give companies two weeks notice or else we're considered pieces of garbage? We're not rehirable. We're terrible people. But a company can fire you with zero notice until you get the hell out when you haven't even done anything wrong. <laughs> they don't have to give you two weeks. Why is that? Why are people held to a higher standard than multi-billion dollar corporations? It's probably because they're in control of our government, but that's not a big deal. Let's move on to the next thing. Shocking. Check this out. Next damn thing. These are messages that were directly sent to your boy. <laughs> so this one says, hey man, been following for a while and saw the BS you had to go through with GameStop. I'm a Best Buy employee, and they're doing the same exact thing as stated in your Kroger video. I don't know if it's because of hazard pay, but this week they are doing a mass, massive firing of employees. That's the rumor. Just recently got the sea virus from working at the store, and now they are firing me unreal. So this guy, and then later on he messaged me and said, checking back with you, I was let go today, and everything that leaked in the Reddit was accurate. Massive layoffs from every store. Hold on for just two seconds, guys. Hold on. What? What? And look at this one. This one says, hey, I don't know if you've heard about what's going on at Best Buy. I'm a Geek Squad employee, and about the last two months, there have been rumblings of a restructuring. And as of today, it finally came down. It looks like a lot of people are losing their jobs. How many? Full-time and part-time. The last month or so, some full-timers were lucky to even get 10 
hours a week from what others whom I've worked with in the past that stores could be losing two to four all the way up to 20 people. There is no rhyme or reason on who's letting getting let go. Some people with 15 years loyalty are just gone, no noticed. You give them a two weeks, they give you a zero damn day's notice. This is after they announce they are paying $15 an hour minimum for every employee. And then they cut hours and labor and something else. What is the something else? Quick look at something real quick. The, the uh, CEO of the company, his name is Corey Berry, with a net worth of 31 million dollars 31 million dollars but what about what about best buy's uh, revenue what about their revenue in 2020 how much was that what was their revenue in 2020 40 billion dollars 40 billion dollars and their revenue rose to 40 billion dollars and increase because of the sea virus more people were were ordering stuff curbside there than ever before Shocking. Well, how did the company respond to this giant increase in revenue and the giant pay that the CEO is getting? How did they respond? Let's look. Best Buy eyes worst days for some workers. Shocking. Best Buy company notified workers this week that it was cutting some jobs at its big box stores. According to people familiar with the situation as the retailer adapts to a world where more shopping happens online. Wow. Look at this. Read this with me. The company has reported skyrocketing sales in recent quarters as pandemic-weary shoppers stocked up video games, appliances, other things. Comparable sales, those from websites or store operating for at least 12 months, rose 23% in the quarter ended October 31st. Shocking. Shocking. And look at the damn stock price. High as hell. The company had 125,000 full-time and part-time workers as of January. Best Buy furloughed 51,000. That is almost half, including nearly all its part-time associates. That's almost half, guys. And that was in April. And they're doing it again. They're cutting another half after they report record profits and... And the CEO has a net worth of $31 million, is making millions and millions per year. Millions and millions per year. And they're cutting all these jobs. Why? To squeeze some more profit out of their company. More investor interest. Make those numbers slightly higher. If people go hungry because of it, well, who cares? They never cared in the first place. As long as they go to Twitter and type in hashtag LGBTQ, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They don't give a damn. They never have, and they never will. And Best Buy just ordered damn 66 to everybody. And the crazy thing is, Best Buy decided to retain that CEO that made this decision after they investigated allegations against her for being in an inappropriate relationship with another executive, which isn't allowed. That's not allowed, obviously, because conflict of interest. But it doesn't matter. Who cares? She gonna stay, and she gonna fire everybody. $31 million net worth. And all these people are losing their jobs. All of them. Um, why are companies just firing people with no notice, by the way? Zero notice. They had no idea. And they fired 50% of their workforce in one second. No idea. Why, why don't they give anyone a notice, yet we have to give them a notice when we leave? No. Two week. Man, I tell you what, dude. I'm getting, I'm getting pissed. I don't usually get pissed. All right. I'm just trying to film a damn video right now. <laughs> Two-week notices? That should go away forever. People should never be required ever again to give a two-week notice because a company is not expected to do the same damn decency to people that work for them for 15 years. And we have to do it? No, screw them. Screw all those companies. Two-week notices, BS, go kill yourself. That should be, we should retire that phrase for the rest of time. For the rest of time. So look, guys, Best Buy, after record profits, is firing another 50% of their associates after firing another 50% in April. What do you think? Do you think maybe they should give that money to some of their damn associates? It's funny because they announced they're going to increase pay to $15 and then fired everybody. Hmm, almost like they were trying to get some free PR. Oh, look, we love our associates. Ha 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 ha, never mind. So that's all I have, guys. Best Buy done pissed me off. I don't usually get mad. I don't know if I'll even post this. I'm just, uh, just, it's just infuriating to me. It's infuriating. To all the blue shirts out there and ex-blue shirts, look, 
this isn't the end all be all. All right. It's just it's, it's, companies suck. And share this video. Post it on the damn Reddit. I don't. Uh, people more more companies need to understand that it's not OK to just destroy people's lives for a quick buck. It shouldn't be OK. So make sure you like the damn video and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and all the garbage. Message me, and uh, we'll get your story out there. Try to get some eyes on it. I love you. I appreciate you. Brighter times are ahead, for damn sure. When GameStop got rid of my ass, it was like the end of my life. But look where we are just four years later. Two years later. Three years later. I don't know how long it's been. I blocked out that part of my life. <laughs> so until next time, guys, make sure you do me a big ass favor. Make sure you get on it, dog on it, because that's the only damn thing we can do. It's the only damn thing we can do. <sighs> Bye. Yeah. Hangovers. <laughs> You'll be needing it. I'm just saying. Take four of them. Delicious. <laughs>